Hey all from the vinyl record community. This is uh, Chuck from Pittsburgh, PA. And I'm here to show my vinyl finds from eBay from late de late late December 2023. So this will probably be one of the last vinyl logs you'll see filmed from this apartment. As uh yeah. It's my bedroom. I have it as a stage. My former bedroom. I have it as a staging area to to move my records and everything. So I've got to decorate with some lights behind me. So um, so you know. Alrighty then. Well, let's get on with it. The Castaway Strings by the Elvis Presley song. Was curious about this. I like anything on VJ. I don't know why, especially the brackets logo here. Um, all instrumental versions of uh, Elvis Presley songs. What also drew it was it wasn't expensive. And look at that. I get a nice VJ promotional coffee label. You probably don't see too many of these. These are a little tougher. Got the double brackets logo there. Promotional coffee right on there. So, my thoughts of the album, it was okay, but when I say Castaway Strings, I expect something, I guess, like the Hologrid Strings, you know, or something like that, and a lot of horns, a lot of, like, fast-paced horns in this. So, when you see a group called a Castaway Strings, I was expecting more lush strings. They were there, but they were kind of, like, in the middle or in the back, musically. There's a lot of horns in it, so if you like, you know, I don't mind brass, and I don't mind brass bands or, you know, horns and, and organ music and, you know, nice instrumental versions of these, but it just wasn't what I expected, so it's all good, though. I might um, check out the, um, they kind of made like a rocking, bopping, just the louder, you know, more upbeat horn, you know, versions of all of these. So, there's one song or two that have more strings in it, but there's a lot of horns. Recorded in Italy, Rome, Italy. There's the other side. We show some. And Honeycombs, by the way, I guess we did distributed that. I got another copy of this because mine is kind of static y when I played on the one player. So, this was in a, with another Rod McEwen album I don't have. Rod McEwen's Greatest Hits, too. back of the cover great album I actually prefer this recording of listen to the warm over the original yeah I like his stuff I listen to him from time to time but all the songs on here are awesome yeah I mean introduce yourself to Rod I would start with greatest hits volume one or this one Definitely start out with one of these two greatest hits. Um, one and two, in my opinion, are, are awesome. Actually, that's how I got introduced to Ron's, Ron's, uh, Rod's, excuse me, Rod's music was Greatest Hits Volume 1. Still sealed from the early 70s copy I found at the thrift store 20, 25, almost going on 26 years ago. So I still have it, yeah. So that's his Greatest Hits 2, good album. Then I fell in love with this album and I heard, found out about it, discovered it, and listened to it on YouTube. It's, um, Mamas and Papas, people like us. Mm -hmm. They actually stole most of its cellophane off it when it was falling apart. The paper on this really turned brown, as you can see, on the edges. Well, 1971 is what, 50 some years ago, so already. Very nice, very clean. Dunhill label there. And what's, what's, what's nice about this is, and it's their final studio album, they were kind of threatened with lawsuits to uh, come in and do. But I still like it. So far, I kind of like it better than their fourth uh, studio album when they were about ready to break up. Still comes with the lyric sheet. 
So that's pretty cool. And the last of the LPs is this album here. This came as a bonus with the Rod McEwen Grace that's going to in a lonely place. So there it is. And hang on. There's 145. <laughs> and I'll walk it over there and get it. So I got this record here. I always like their verse. It's actually kind of an obscure, obscure version and record. But thanks to YouTube, I found it. I finally got a 15 bucks, but it's actually a pretty rare record. I think it's about from like 67. The Cascades, who did Rhythm of the Rain, Flying on the Ground. The flip side's Main Street, which is also a good song. So it was well worth the money because I liked the song that much. So now I got a nice hard, you know.